Throughout the ages, human civilizations have established and enforced a number of brutal and torturous methods of punishment. In a contemporary context, punishment is defined as imposing a penalty on someone for committing an offense. In ancient times, however, punishments had a significantly broader range of application, and their purpose could be anything, from censorship and control to revenge and spite. The human mind is capable of thinking up horrifying and sinister methods of punishment, and we're going to be exploring some of the most bizarre ones that have ever been recorded in human history. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're passionate about knowledge and learning. We have so much more content lined up for you. First and foremost, the Iron Maiden was a terrifying instrument used for torture and execution. It was widely used in medieval Europe and basically consisted of an iron cabinet which had dozens of sharpened metal spikes welded onto the inside. The accused would be forced into the cabinet and the doors of the Iron Maiden would be slowly closed until they would die an excruciating and painful death. Sometimes the cabinet would be only partially closed if the intention was to torture rather than execute. Trial by ordeal was a particularly strange judicial practice from ancient times. Whether the accused was guilty or innocent would be determined by subjecting them to an incredibly painful experience, and the reasoning was that divine powers would help the innocent by performing some sort of miracle. For example, the accused would have to pass through fire, be submerged in water, or ingest poison. If they survived, they would be innocent, and if they died, they were pronounced guilty. Not only was this punishment utterly merciless, but its premise was based on a completely senseless logic. Ling Chi, also known as Death by a Thousand Cuts, was an awful method of torturous execution that was practiced in ancient China, as well as Vietnam and Korea. Basically, the accused would be tied to a post, and then pieces of their skin and limbs would be sliced off section by section with a knife. If the accused hadn't died by the end of this dreadful punishment, their heart would be cut out, or they would be decapitated. Ling Chi was reserved for the most heinous of crimes, but it was a punishment that undoubtedly caused unthinkable pain and suffering over the 1,000 years it was used. Execution by elephant was another usual method of capital punishment. Obviously, this punishment was only possible in regions where elephants could be found, meaning that this form of execution was particularly common in South and Southeast Asian countries such as India. The elephants themselves were specifically trained for this role, and they were able to execute the accused immediately or torture them over a prolonged period of time. This punishment was generally exercised by royalty, and it was meant to be a demonstration of absolute power and control over even wild elephants. Unfortunately, boiling water seems to have been a common form of punishment in human history. There are records that it was practiced in regions as far apart as East Asia and Europe. The accused would be taken and placed in some sort of vessel containing a boiling liquid, which was usually oil, water, or even tar. There were even some versions where the accused would be put into a cold liquid and then forced to wait until it was heated to boiling. Reports from 16th century England reveal that some people were boiled for up to two hours until they eventually died. When it comes to cruel and unusual punishments, few are as disturbing as pina colae, Latin for penalty of the sack. This punishment was practiced under Roman law, in which the accused would be sewn into a leather sack with an assortment of living animals, such as dogs, monkeys, snakes, and chickens and roosters. The sack would then be thrown into the water, so that if the animals didn't kill the accused first, then the drowning certainly would. There is no doubt that the human mind is capable of conjuring shocking, disturbing, and stomach-churning punishments. The ancient world was a hostile and awful place for those who found themselves on the wrong side of those in positions of power, and their punishments were so shocking and evil that even reading about them is enough to give anyone goosebumps. Whilst contemporary human civilization still has its shortcomings, it's certainly something to be thankful for that these barbaric and inhumane methods of torture and execution are no longer endorsed. We hope that you found this informative and interesting, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for even more fascinating facts.